is an all-star player for the Houston Rockets. Uh, he injured his hip in a game last Saturday when he collided with Sean Bradley. He appears okay, but here, take a look at number four. You can judge for yourself. Oh. Ooh, boy. Please welcome Charles Barkley. Hey, I haven't seen him. Hey. You know how long it's been since I've seen him? Oh, yeah, for years, hey, hasn't it? I, when I was growing up, he got rebound after rebound. <laughs> really? That's, like, that's why he chose being a comedian and being a great actor <laughs> and gave me a chance to make it. Well, it's very nice of him, isn't it? Yeah. Right, never forget, yeah. thank you. Hey. I expected. I expect you to come out and go, hi, Jay, how you doing tonight? But you're, hey. lucky, you're lucky you took it in the hip. I, I'm lucky I shattered that myth. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I got plenty of room down here. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not like big fella. <laughs> no. 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 His, his, aim, his aim wasn't that good. I got plenty of room. I don't have to worry about paralyzing me. Oh, Hurt there me you bad. go. <laughs> well, what happened? Now, what happened there exactly? You know, the guy just, uh, number one, I took him to dinner the night before the game. I guess his, that's his way of telling me he didn't like the meal. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it just went, he's so skinny, he cut me. His <laughs> bone cut me through skin. <laughs> You know. I mean, it's like it's just like a Charlie horse, wasn't it? Just bam. Right? I mean, but, you know, it, it is embarrassing, though, when somebody weighs 150 pounds hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 150 <laughs> pounds coming at you. I mean, yeah. did, did you really think, uh-oh, something's busted? I mean, did it... Did... Well, I thought I had uh, fractured my pelvis. That's what the doctors originally thought, but he didn't weigh enough to hurt me. Just, you know, injured me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, when we had Dennis uh, Rodman with us in Chicago... <laughs> now, wait a minute. You know what I heard? I find out later you were with him and you actually advised him on the gown that he wore on the show. Hey, you know, I was with him later that night when he was doing a concert. Den Dennis. <laughs> you know, you just run out of words to explain. <laughs> you know, you just, you just run out of words. I mean, Again, every, it seems like every time I'm on here, he's in trouble. He's in trouble again. Now, didn't he just, didn't he just hit another guy in the groin or something the other day? He likes that. You know what? I was thinking that. Yeah. You know, he might be coming out like Ellen. <laughs> you know? You know. <laughs> so what you're saying is he, uh, he... So you think he could be a lesbian? I, you know, I... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just saying, I mean, that's two times in a row he's hit men in the private parts. Maybe he's coming out. <laughs> you, you think he's just trying to be friendly? He should have j just ask, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of going out and bashing somebody right there in Big Jim, just say hello. How you doing? You know, I, I agree. Yeah, you just... know, you and Dennis should do a movie together. Me, you, and Dennis. That'd be good. I mean, yeah. seriously. Look at the time. Look at that. <laughs> you know, yeah, like a basketball book. I but he I... is a good player. People oh, sometimes he's a, forget. He's a, he's, a very, yeah. he's a terrific player. But you know what happens when you do stuff like that? It just takes away. I mean, he's a well, terrific player. But like when you guys hang out, I'm just like, where do you go? Like, what do you do when you hang out? Do you go to? Do you go with him to the gay clubs and hang out? <laughs> I don't know. No. So where do you go? Oh, where do you go? Where do you go? Uh, uh, we, uh, you know. Do you go with him to pick out clothes? Do you go with him to pick out clothes? Hey, there's no sugar in my shoes. <laughs> Let me say that. Okay, let me say that. Let's say you're hanging with Dennis. You and Dennis are very close friends. Now, Dennis is wearing his women's underwear and all this stuff thing. Suppose Dennis said to you, look, Charles, let's go out. Under your suit, I want you to put on a pair of these lace panties under your suit. Could he talk you into that? No. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what's amazing about Dennis? What? The people who just, like, when we were in Vegas, he was, like, sitting on the stage singing, like, here, and it was just throngs of oh, people yeah. just screaming. They go nuts they for go him. nuts for him. Oh, yeah. Did you realize crazy. a lot of people who are nuts in the world? Here we are back to groin again, aren't we? Right. <laughs> that, you know what? <laughs> Jay, seriously. <laughs> being, being from Alabama, I would have been good for the cabin boy. You like the that? The jungle boy part. That would be perfect. Bring you back as my kid. You know, you know. Yeah, he looked just like my kid. 
But I was going to say before, I, I, I'm, I'm from Detroit, so Broadman played. <laughs> And he was, he was when we did the, the uh, tripeat, two-peat, two repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat, whatever we did, Pistons, when that, he was That's part of that. That's when he first started going yeah. nuts. But he, he didn't have the orange hair doing all that. He was, no. just, he was, just, he was just angry. <laughs> but he was the only guy that could hold on to Jordan. We, they, yeah. He played point, kept well, Jordan the lowest points he'd ever did, when, and it was a fabulous game. I did all the... Yeah. Well, let's talk about the NBA a little bit. Like, what do you think of, like, the new players coming out? You're pretty outspoken. Well, they got to learn that it's... it's, it's the game is the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, it's all right to be, let's see, the only, I think the only problem we have with Dennis when he does outrageous thing, he can color his hair and, you know, dress and skirts and things, if you like that type of thing. <laughs> um, but as long as he plays hard and don't kick guys and hit guys in the private parts, we don't have a problem with him. We want the young guys, it's all right to be individualistic, but just play the game and respect the game. Right, right. You know, but they, you know, they're, gonna, they're young, they're immature, uh, and that comes with time. I used to be like that. Yeah. Before you, you, you took me away from oh, all yeah, of that. I did. <laughs> it's like I heard you talking the other day. Yeah. How many good teams are there in the NBA? Good teams. Probably, probably ten. Ten. Okay. If ten, and, and that's yeah. the only thing that bothers me because I think the fans deserve a good product. Yeah. And right now, you know, the Bulls are up here, and there's about six or seven teams that are right below them. Uh, but I think the fans deserve to see a lot of good teams, and that's not happening right now. Well, how will the Rockets do this year? Well, we're trying to get healthy. Uh, me and Clyde have uh, been hurt a lot, but I think we got a good shot at it. Yeah. We, yeah. It's going to be a dog fight, but we got to beat Seattle and Utah, and the Lakers if Shaquille gets healthy. Now, are you going to are you are you going to retire this year? I, I mean, every year you come on, you've been saying that this is your what your 14th year or 15th year? This is my 13th year. Don't, oh, 13. don't, don't age me. 13th. Okay. My birthday was last week. You didn't get me anything. Oh, yeah. You didn't. You didn't get. No. Damn that Federal Express. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I Are you going to retire? I think I'm going to play one more year, Jay. One more. One more year. I mean, they got to pay me for another year. You know what we got coming out now? We got the hog call on woman. Can you hog call? You're, 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 you're a country boy. You know, Jay, every time I come on here, you got some type of person dealing with animals. I'm starting <laughs> to wonder. <laughs> You know, I am starting to, well, last time it was these big frogs. He wanted me to touch frogs. Just because I'm in Alabama don't mean I play with frogs. I understand. <laughs> I got the same problem with him. I got the same problem with him. Every time I come in. Well, you'll see. You'll meet the hog caller when weird. she comes out here. Very lovely woman. Be right back with 74-year-old I'm Ogene Barnhart right after this show. Thank you, sir. It happened one day. Just after sunrise in Hunan, Shen Cheng became the first in his village to call America. Lloyd moved from Lone Pine to the Global Village. And a man named Riley scouted six NBA teams at one time. Later, a banker sent half a billion dollars and hope to workers halfway around the world. And a reporter sent word that the citizens of Claremont were all safe and sound. Nothing is impossible. But we can believe that too. As Christopher Reeve inspired a room full of people a thousand miles away. 220 million times a day, people share information, ideas, and dreams on the most powerful network on Earth. And from a world away, a tiny voice reached Shen Cheng. AT&T is all within your reach. Good morning, sunshine. What happens when you don't just make something? You invent something. The Chrysler Cirrus LXI. Cab forward design. Driver adaptive transmission. Speed sensitive steering. Fatigue reducing driver's seat. Car and drivers 10 best. And now receive $1,000 cash back. The Chrysler Cirrus. The difference between just making something and inventing something. What's new in your world?